<clears throat> you're trimming your dog's nail, you cut a nail too short, blood everywhere, what do you do? Find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications so you don't miss an update. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. The dog nail trim. There are very few dogs I know that seem to like this. But what happens if you're trimming the nails, you're doing it correctly, and <gasps> gasp, you've cut one too short, there's blood dripping out. Like, what can you do? Tula is not fond of trimming her nails. And you know, you get a dog that's squirming. It's easy then, unfortunately, for you to cut a bit much on that little Tula. You're such a little angels most of the time. First thing, don't panic. Yes, there's blood coming out of your dog's nails. But all of a sudden, if you're panicking, you're running around like a crazy person, your dog gets nervous, his heart rate goes up, and guess what? He's gonna be running around, his blood pressure rises, there's blood going all around your house. Like so, at the very least, just, just don't panic. Just take a deep breath, okay? It looks bad, nails bleed a lot, it's relatively a small amount of blood, just looks far worse than it is, and there's things that you can do. Okay, so step number one, don't panic. Don't run around like a crazy person. Right, little Tula? Number two, you're gonna apply pressure. Whatever you may have, say you've got a piece of cloth, you've got clothing you can sacrifice. If you have a gauze, even better, i.e. these little, you know, these little one by one gauzes, take the gauze, and you're just gonna apply it on top of the nail that's bleeding. <laughs> Assuming your little dog, aka Tula, doesn't back up on you, you're gonna be applying firm pressure, right? We're principle number, any principle of stopping bleeding is applying pressure. So hold that gauze over top of the nail where it's, the bleeding's happening, the nail bed. Apply firm pressure and just hold that. And while you're doing that, I'm hoping you're with someone else and you're gonna say, Friend in the house, can you go get me something out of the kitchen, which we're gonna discuss next to help stop the bleeding. These are three home remedies that you should be considering. The first one, flour or cornstarch. I prefer cornstarch. I've just got a little jar of it here, pour it into a bowl. Man, I got this little fruit bowl container. And you're gonna take that cornstarch you're gonna put your dog's foot right into it. Assuming they stay still again, you're gonna hold the nail right onto the, <laughs> the nail right onto the cornstarch. Right? So pushing it right in, I find is best. Of course, you turn everything white, as you can see. Or you can put something on the end of your finger and put it right there once again on the nail that's bleeding. If you don't have any flour, you don't have any cornstarch. Second, you could try Vaseline. I mean, boxers use it, they get a facial cut. Vaseline makes a thick, uh, impermeable layer. It may be enough to actually stop the bleeding. So just wanna squirt out, you know, half an inch or so on your finger, and then put that right on top of that, holding it on top of that nail that's bleeding. See if that's enough just to stop it. And you know, let's hold that on, Tula. Remedy number three, you can consider black tea, using a black tea bag. So tea itself is not only antibacterial, it's an astringent, which may, may mean it will actually help constrict the blood vessels and slow down and help stop some of that bleeding. Plus, just physically, you're gonna use that tea bag as a compress, allowing you to put some pressure. So here is a cool down black tea bag. Tool is interested in eating it. And you're just gonna apply firm pressure over top of the nail that's bleeding, holding the tea bag right on there. You're gonna hold that for a good two to three minutes. You wanna make sure it's something like a black tea because it's got the, especially the astringent properties in it, will actually help uh, the blood vessels constricting and potentially 
slowing down that bleeding a lot quicker. Thank you so much for listening to this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Of what you can do if you trim your pet's nails, there is blood. Three really effective home remedies. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.